So it's been a while since I've done a video again. Whoop. Uh, but recently I've just been working on a few laptops for some people. In fact, I'm working on this one now for my mum's boyfriend. It's given us a weird error. And I've just worked on a netbook for my auntie's boyfriend. Uh, and the reason why I'm just pulling it out is because it's it was really messed up and if people can see it's an Arcos netbook which is this is actually a rebrand I believe of a foreign model but I've not done a lot of searching because I was able to get it working right not a bad little thing you sort of designed for Windows XP it's an old one now and it is the Arcos 10 as well and the one reason why I'm just sort of going to show it booting up I suppose the one reason why I'm doing this is because when I had to repair it it was just messed up beyond repair nearly in terms of trying to save the operating system that was on it which is Windows XP again I could put Windows 7 on it but it's only an Atom N270 single core 1.6 gig I think it was uh, 1 gig of RAM something like a 60 gig hard drive it's now all fully updated and ready to go again but yes uh, the problem with it was it was just absolutely virus ridden uh, which is annoying it was just absolutely messed up beyond repair this one is not messed up beyond repair but it's giving us some awkward problems it is a median Pentium M. It's actually a good laptop. It's still very usable now. Uh, but for some reason it's given us a problem and I'd fixed it once before but it's given us the exact same problem again so I asked if they'd bring it down so I could just work in it down home. It's easier for me. Right. Yes. Again going back to the Arcos. This had strange sort of problem just fully virus ridden you could get on it but you could not do anything that was locked out and it does include its recovery partition now what I was going to have to probably do was to have used my own discs to have recovered it in fact you can't see it now it's system hidden partition I could not get it to boot to it uh, it's 160 gig hard drive so I had to long-windedly go around and use because I could have used a boot CD however I don't directly have boot CDs written so I had to start from my USB floppy drive which has seen better days but since my main machine no longer has one that's what I use <coughs> I had to boot with that then it would actually start the recovery program the problem I would have had is I would not have been able to have found any drivers for anything. There are no drivers for the webcam, which is just built in there. Or for the sound, video, nothing. Although the video is an Intel chipset, so I probably could have got that. I could not have got anything else. So what I did do, hello world when I managed to get it restarted it did as they all tend to do put the drivers on the system so I just put them into this one folder for the minute and the manuals the drivers are purely for XP if you put Vista which you could put on it or Windows 7 it should have every driver but they're all here now I transferred these over to my main machine 
and I've made copies of them. And what I'll do is I'll link them over on Rapid Share. That's just what I use. It's easy for me. Just do that. So that if anyone is after specific drivers for an Arcos 10 netbook, they're there. And if they go dead, let me know because I'll keep I'm keeping the files. Uh But yeah. Alright, machine. It's back to working order for for my auntie's boyfriend. Thanks for watching.